What would a week be like without changes to Evernote? Well, in this episode, there have been changes in the way you can edit a PDF, the images toolbar has changed, and some changes to the transcribe button, and more. Plus, we'll answer a viewer question about downloading files. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. Yeah, I know that's a long list, but I like to keep you updated on the latest features from Evernote. Please subscribe to this uh, series of videos. I'd appreciate it, and then you won't miss any of them. So let's start off with a reminder to always make sure that you are running the latest update. Most of the things we'll talk about today uh, came about with version 10.131.3. I can almost guarantee you that by the time you watch this video, there will be more updates to Evernote. That's just the way it works. And I'll keep you posted in future videos on how the new features work. But let's go back to the new features from 10.131.3. So let's begin uh, with new ways of annotating and uh, taking a look at images that you have uh, in a note on Evernote. If you want to annotate uh, a PDF, here's a PDF that I just quickly prepared. And yes, that is a, uh, a very nice picture of the city in which I, uh, the, the largest city that I live near. If you want to uh, do any kind of uh, annotating of this PDF, you click on the image. Uh, you come over here to this little pencil bar where it says edit and annotate. And now, uh, this is what I really like. Uh, they have added this toolbar up on top, which makes it very clear and easy to use. Uh, because this is highlighted, we now have a pen that we can you know, draw on if we want. We can come over and we can add text if we want. Uh, we can highlight something if we want to highlight something. And uh, this is another uh, helpful feature. Sometimes if I have a picture, an image, uh, I can, uh, you know, modify it. I can uh, have it as a square. I can round the image. I can draw arrows. And if you have uh, multiple pages, they're all displayed uh, in this right column. Uh, you can uh, change the color of what your uh, indicators are, the thickness of the lines. You can rotate, you can blur. I mean, you can do just about everything with this new annotation tool. In this case, I've just put the image inside a note. And now because it is an image, it allows me to rotate that image. It allows me to uh, blur the image if I want to blur a section of it. I can crop the picture if I choose. Now I've imported an image which has text. And a slight change that Evernote has made is they've cleaned up this uh, transcribe button, uh, which I really like, and it's given us a little bit more flexibility. If I want to transcribe the text uh, that's uh, in this graphic, I can hit transcribe, and it will now transcribe the text outside of the picture. Uh, if I want, I can delete the image if I want and just leave the text, or I can cut and paste this and put this into something else. It's also asking me how I liked the result. Okay, great. So now, uh, if you come over here, you can align the image. But now we're back to the edit and annotate. If you come back to here, you'll see the text bar again that allows you to annotate this item. I like the fact that all of these controls are not only on top here, but they are also accessible from this pen. Uh, if I click the three dots, it gives me, of course, the opportunity to rename the image or go to the edit and annotate here or give you a preview of the note. So if you have a note with text and you want to modify its size, as you know, you can just come over here and always click that little arrow key and you can quickly click on a, a different size if you want, or you can just type a number in here if you prefer to change it that way, uh, particularly if you, know, you want a size that's much larger uh, than might be normally set, or in this case, because I changed it to 50, 50 wasn't even one of the options in the drop-down menu. Evernote has now allowed you to, once you set this sidebar, uh, that customization will apply to all of your other Evernote devices. Okay, now a couple of questions from viewers. Always love to hear your questions. 
Uh, someone wrote and said, thank you for your video. Could you explain how do I download an attachment from a note? And also, can we hierarchy and tags like folders, subfolders, which can then show up when we search the parent tag along with its sub tag? Uh, by the way, since you speak to the Evernote team, would Evernote be ever having a concept of folder and subfolders alike? I can answer that one very quickly. Uh, when you're talking about folders and subfolders, the way I look at it is uh, uh, we have notes and notebook stacks. So you can put, a, you can create a stack and then put any number of notebooks in it. So that's kind of like folders and subfolders. Uh, but let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the first question. How do I download an attachment from a note? Let's put my uh, my image of my hometown here. If you want to download this, click on it. Get here's the arrow, and now it will ask you where you want to download the attachment to. Keep sending me your questions. Leave a comment and question below, or you can email me at daveedwards@outlook.com. At hey, thanks very much for clicking on this video today. You know, Evernote has the potential to be the foundation of your entire productivity system, or it might just be one more app that sits unused on your device. The difference lies in how you set it up and how well you understand its functions. I'm Dave Edwards, and that's why I developed the online course Evernote for Beginners. It's designed not only for new users, but also for Evernote veterans who want to unlock more of its features. Check out the details at DaveEdwardsMedia.com and click on Courses.